Today we're going to clean the mainspring from the strike side of our clock. For that we're going to need some kerosene. I think it's blue in Australia so idiot people don't drink it but doesn't matter it's kerosene of which I've got a little bit in here. We need a small piece of scourer pad. You don't need very much and you don't need very much kerosene either. And once we've cleaned it, then we will grease it with PTFE grease and then put it in a bag so it's secure. A bag that we've marked strike so we know it's a strike side mainspring and the grease we put on it won't collect any dirt or anything. All right, so there's our mainspring for a start, which we've taken out. We'll take up our piece of scarab pad, dip it into the kero, let it run down a bit, squeeze it over in half, like so, to get it wet all the way through. We don't need very much kero. And then starting at the end of the spring, we wipe it backwards and forwards. And we'll be removing grease and oil and dirt and any buildup that's been on the spring over many years. We've got some newspaper down there underneath because we don't want to spill any kero on our bench. So it's always good to keep that in mind. Just keep running up the length of the spring. We're getting up near the tight end now. I'll turn that over. It's also a good idea to wear gloves when you're doing this because you tend to get caro all over yourself. Right, we're getting up towards that end now. We don't want to pull our spring out that way, or we'll pyramid it, we'll change the integrity of it. So we'll just run round up here as far as we can get with it. And then when we've got there, we then start working back down along the full length of the spring. Whoop. Getting there, almost at the end. This spring didn't look like it was in too bad a condition, so we may not see major improvements on it, but this is the way we do it anyway. Next we take a clean piece of cloth, double it over, and then as we did before, we wipe our way all the way up the mainspring to remove the caro from it. We don't want that on the spring. When we put the grease on it, keep turning it, moving it up. We're getting up into the tight end of the spring now. And that's about as far as we got, I think, with the cleaning. So uh, it's got a bit of a gunk off it. So uh, we'll turn the clean cloth over, find a clean piece of it. We'll just move up here a little bit to make sure we got as high as we did. I'll know that because it's going to crush my fingers. Yep, that's about it. All right. Now, winding down again. The full length of the, the spring. 
with our clean bit of cloth. It won't be clean by the time we get to the bottom of it. But there we have it. That's the dirt that we got off the, the mainspring. So now I'll take another piece of clean cloth, do the same again because we want to make sure that we've got all the kerosene off the spring. So we'll run up it again a bit faster this time because we've got the vast majority of it off. Run up to the tight end again. Whoop, it's a coil going everywhere. Up to there, as far as it goes. You can see we've collected a bit more there. Turn the cloth over. And then come back down again. All the way down to the end. <sighs> All right, that's not too bad, they're pretty clean. Now we're going to grease our mainspring. PTFE grease. And using a toothpick is a very easy way to do it. We start off inside the mainspring and start putting the grease on one side of the spring. We don't put it on both sides because once we tighten the spring up, the grease will be transferred to the other side of the spring also and we'll have a nice serious coverage Get a bit more. And the spring will end up being well lubricated. If you do both sides initially, you're going to have a serious amount of grease you're going to have to clean off the, the side of the spring once you've wound it up. It doesn't matter if you put on a, bit, a little bit too much because once we get... Oop, once we wind the spring up, any excess we're going to remove before we put the spring back into the movement again. Almost done, getting down towards uh, the end of the line. And a little bit up across there. And then the final bit down there. Right, we can now lie it down and have a quick look to make sure we've got a reasonably good coverage all the way around. We can check it and see the little bits we've missed here and there. A little bit over there. A bit on the top. And Spin it around, we can touch the outside because that's we know it's dry. The grease is on the inside. A little bit there. And a little bit there. Alright, well that looks pretty good actually. Put our toothpick back into our grease. Close that, put that over there. Now the last part of this, we have a plastic bag. I've written strike on it up there. It's a bit hard to see, but it has got strike written on it, so we know that this is the 
the main spring from the strike side of our clock. We pick it up, drop it inside. Take it down to the bottom and roll it over. And there we have it, our clean and greased strike side mainspring. I'll do the time mainspring off camera and then we'll have them both done and we'll be ready to move on to the next piece of the operation.